Much now to your decision 2022 coverage will begin with the race for retiring Senator Jim Inhofe's seat. 13 Republicans filing for it and despite a strong showing by Congressman Mark Wayne Mullen, it looks like he will be going to run off with T.W. Shannon. The U.S. representative getting 44% of the vote compared to the Chickasaw banker and former House Speaker T.W. Shannon, who received 18%. State Senator Nathan Dom and Senator Inhofe's former Chief of Staff Luke Holland coming up short with 12% and 11% respective. A 2 News Oklahoma caught up with the frontrunners last night. Well, we can't take anything for granted, even though we're up by almost 30 points uh, on the nearest person to us. Uh, we're going to continue to outwork everybody. We said that when we started this race. We'll never let anybody outwork us. And we've had volunteers uh, all across the, the, the state of Oklahoma. All 77 counties have been organized with people out there knocking doors, making phone calls for us. And we're going to set that pace. Uh, that's us. We're going to set that pace. And, and, uh, I, and I tell everybody when we set it, just try to keep up with us because we're going to be we're going to be working from sun up to sundown and throughout the night, too. And T.W. Shannon talking about the runoff in August as well. Truth is, this election night marks the beginning because tonight the campaign is just getting started. Make no doubt about it. You know, we now have a race between the Washington, D.C. establishment and a true Oklahoma conservative. Senator Inhofe will leave office in January, and now the winner of the runoff between Mullen and Shannon will face off against Democrat Kendra Horn and Independent Ray Woods. And in Oklahoma's other Senate race, incumbent James uh, Lankford, Senator James Lankford, easily won the Republican nomination, taking 68% of the vote. Six Democrats vying for that party's nomination, Madison Horn and Jason Bollinger. Uh, coming out on top of the pack of candidates. Horn receiving 37% of the vote, Bollinger with 13 or 17. Uh, two, News Oklahoma's, uh, two, two News Oklahoma, I should say, spoke with Langford last night. That we've got to be able to carry the responsibility of who we are as Oklahomans to Washington, D.C. But this is truly us that has done this together, and we're grateful to represent our state in this journey together on this. And since Mark Wayne Mullen is running for Senator Inhofe's Senate seat, uh, his U.S. House seat in District 2 is up for grabs. A huge field of candidates, 14 Republicans on that ballot. Here's a look at the results. Avery Fricks with 15% of the vote. Josh Burkeen, 14%. Johnny Teehee coming in with 13 Just a little separation between these candidates, but in the end, 100% of the precincts reporting here. Fricks and Burkeen will be running off, uh, in a runoff August 23rd. They're going to be vying for their party nomination. The winner will then move on to the November election. Well, Governor Kevin Stitt facing through Republican challengers in his reelection bid, but he did walk away with a GOP nomination. 69% for the incumbent governor, Joe Kinstall, uh, coming up with 14%. To Mark Sherwood's 13%. On the Democratic side, Joy Hoffmeister, who switched parties last November to run against Stitt, comes up with 61% of the vote, easily defeating former state Senator Connie Johnson and that means this November, you'll see Hoffmeister challenging Governor Stitt on the ballot, along with independent nominee Irvin Yen. Altoon has caught up with both candidates following their wins uh, last night, moving on to that runoff. Uh, but we feel really, really good. I think Oklahomans are with us, uh, the polling that we've seen, uh, but just kind of the feel. I've been, I travel the state all the time. I've been to all 77 counties numerous times. And the feel that I'm out there is that there's a lot of optimism in Oklahoma. You know, I'm an independent thinker. My husband and I, uh, my husband Jerry and I raised our kids around faith, family, education, and hard work. Uh, that's a lot of Oklahomans that feel that same way. We are listening to Oklahomans that say we've got to put a bold investment in education to work on our teacher shortage and also have access to quality, affordable health care, and jobs. Jobs to face down this uh, inflation and uh, build a robust economy. And last night, Gettner Drummond won the Republican nomination for Oklahoma Attorney General. Drummond beat sitting Attorney General John O'Connor with only a few thousand more votes. O'Connor was appointed by Governor Stitt after the previous AG resigned. This is Drummond's second swing at the Attorney General position. He narrowly lost to Mike Hunter in a Republican primary runoff in 2018.